exactly two weeks since the horrifying shootings in Las Vegas, and unbelievably, nobody seems able to answer even the most basic questions about what actually happened. Police initially told us that Stephen Paddock shot a hotel security guard in the hallway outside his room after he'd finished murdering more than 50 people on the plaza below. Then authorities changed that timeline. What actually happened, investigators explained, was that at 9.59 p.m. that night, Paddock shot guard Jesus Campos in the leg after firing about 200 rifle rounds through the hotel room door. Then Paddock waited another six minutes for some reason before opening fire on the crowd. Once that rampage ended, it was another hour before police entered his room and found Paddock dead. That was the explanation as of a few hours ago. Didn't make sense, but they were going with it. Now there's a new account. In a statement just this afternoon, the company that owns the hotel where Paddock was staying says it has concluded that police are all wrong about what happened. Actually, the hotel says armed security officers rushed to Stephen Paddock's room, quote, immediately after the shooting first began. How did they respond when they got there? Why was Paddock able to continue shooting? We still don't know the answers to those questions. But that's just the beginning of what we don't know about this case. Media outlets, for example, confidently reported that Paddock made a living as a professional video poker player. Now, that's technically possible. We checked today with someone in Vegas. But it's a little like, as Ann Coulter pointed out in a column this morning, like claiming someone made a living smoking crack. Probably didn't happen. Listen. Someone's firing a gun up here. Someone's firing a rifle on the 32nd floor down the hallway. Right. Call police. The concert shooting began at 10.05 p.m., meaning six minutes went by before police were notified that a gunman was holed up on the 32nd floor. But MGM, which owns Mandalay, is again disputing police, saying, quote, the 9.59 p.m. time was derived from a Mandalay Bay report manually created after the fact without the benefit of information we now have. We are now confident that this time stated in the report is not accurate. MGM believes Stephen Paddock began firing at concert goers within 40 seconds after Jesus Campos reported that shots were fired and that Vegas Metro police officers and Mandalay Bay security immediately responded to the 32nd floor. But now the lawyer for Page Gap report uh, that Stephen Paddock shot a hotel security guard before opening fire in Las Vegas may not be true. Uh, the company all only saying this, quote, what is currently being expressed may not be accurate. Meanwhile, we are learning that Paddock may have used the hotel's freight elevator days before he opened fire, leaving 58 people dead. When police changed the timeline of the Las Vegas massacre, they say the first shot was actually fired at 9.59 last Sunday night. That is six minutes earlier than they originally thought. It's an important distinction because Stephen Paddock's first shot was not at the crowd. Instead, we now know it was the shot that wounded a security guard. Officials previously thought Paddock shot the security guard after killing 58 people and injuring hundreds more. Joining me now is... Now, we also heard from police that, that a timeline had changed, and I'm sure he plays into that because now police have spoken with him. Uh, the timeline changing drastically uh, from the very beginning. So we're talking about when Jesus Campos, the security guard, went up to the 32nd floor because there was a door ajar and there was an emergency alarm going off, and so he was told to go up there and try to figure out what door was ajar. He goes up, and authorities now say, instead of interrupting the shooter who was shooting down at the crowds, he was actually shot at first, and then six minutes later is when Stephen Paddock ended up turning the gun on the crowds below down at that Route 91 concert. The gunman Stephen Paddock not only had an elaborate plan to carry out mass carnage, he also had a plan to try to escape. Investigators now say they have a clearer timeline of just what happened Sunday night. The shooting began three minutes earlier than thought at 10.05 p.m. and lasted for 10 terrifying minutes. This newly released video shows victims fleeing along Las Vegas Boulevard, still in the line of fire. 32 stories up at 10.17 p.m., the first police officers on the scene arrive in a hallway like this one and find security guard Jesus Campos shot in the leg. Police say it's this first interaction that suggests Paddock was not planning to die in his suite. Did you see any evidence that he planned to survive this or try to escape? Yes. Can you tell us what On that what is? What's that? I can't tell you. Police now say Paddock had barricaded the stairwell next to his door, similar to this one, and had set up an elaborate system to monitor the hallway, including more cameras than first thought, two on this cart, 
one in the door's peephole and another inside the room. They say when he saw Campos on a screen, he unloaded more than 200 bullets, some through the door into the hallway. I believe because of his uh, countermeasures placed in the peephole and in the hallway, he observed uh, the security guard and he was in fear that he was about to be breached. We have no more idea what happened now than we had an hour ago. I'm, we're still just completely befuddled, when was dumbstruck. The last time you talked to your brother? As I told them, the last time I communicated with my brother was about well, when did we get power back? Five days after the storm, okay? He texted me and said, how's mom? I texted him back. I mean, well, I'd look. mom going out after she has learned what happened? My mom knows what happened, yeah. We all found out when our phone started ringing with the cops at 1 o'clock this morning or something. It had nothing to do. PM time, 9.59 p.m. time point, but said that is when the security guard first found the barricaded hallway door on the 32nd floor, not Stephen Paddock's room. And he spent the next six minutes finding another way to get into that 32nd floor hallway. So the sheriff ultimately confirmed the hotel's version of the timeline, that the security guard was shot at 10.05 p.m., with gunfire raining down on the crowd within one minute of that. But Sheriff Lombardo said he's offended at any suggestion he or any investigators deliberately misled anyone. Again, the details of the timeline in a very significant way. Remember previously, he had said that the security guard who was shot had first encountered the gunman at 9.59. The gunman opened fire on the crowd at 10.05, leaving that six-minute gap and leaving everybody wondering what on earth hotel security staff were doing in that six minutes. Now he's amended that. Now he's standing by the 9.59 p.m., but saying that that is when Jose Campos, uh, Jesus Campos, excuse me, the security guard, first encountered the barricaded door on the 32nd floor. He then had to work his way around to get past that barricaded door. That took him six minutes. And then at 10.05, that is indeed when he was shot at by the gunman. And the gunman, within one minute, then opened fire on the crowd. That lines up with what the hotel security staff have always said. Said. Uh, but the sheriff was very offended at any suggestion that there was any conspiracy here. This is a man who behaved rationally, privately, a little introverted, liked to play video poker, but he was a rational man. And yet he prepared, over an extended period of time, a totally irrational act. Now, this sounds like someone either totally demented, a behavior which he never evidenced, or someone who's sending a message. This is a plan. We don't know what, what that message is or, or if there is one, but this behavior, according to my employees, is as stunning, as unexpected as anybody, any of them have ever met. Those, of course, chilling words from famed casino owner Steve Wynn.